Give her now! Nicole! Here, 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 here. Nicole! 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 Nicole. <laughs> Make him look good. Yeah. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to UCLA's School of the Arts and Architecture Commencement Celebration. Commencement marks that starting point for your future, a future based on the solidly on the rich artistic, creative, and intellectual foundation you've built at our school. It's also a day in which things of the world have happened, seemingly unconnected to us as we sit here but in fact all are connected as we think about our arts education here in which we've endeavored to emphasize three big things. <clears throat> First, our engagement with the arts of all the world. Second, our interaction with the new information technologies connecting more and more peoples and cultures of the world. And three, with our concomitant need to rethink the way we know and learn things. What has happened during the last day or so? Hamid Karzai won the election to become Afghanistan president. NASA announced that it's sending space probes to plot the path of asteroids in the event one is headed to Earth. The Los Angeles Opera is celebrating its first complete season organized under the artistic directorship of Placido Domingo. And just this morning, Arthur Anderson was found guilty of obstructing justice in the Enron case. I'm bringing you all the news that's fit to print. Although only the first of these would appear to be international, in fact, each of these news items is derived from and directed towards the facts of globalization, the school has made a major emphasis in educating you to the importance of being connected to the world, a global perspective of the arts in order to enhance your understanding, engagement, and empathy. Finally, the school has emphasized questioning and exploring the very boundaries of our traditional disciplines and our traditional inquiries crossing artistic borders as we think about, invent, reassemble, and create new original works of art that often are themselves works about art 
and the way we think about it, use it, and engage it. We're gathered here this afternoon to rejoice in your accomplishments. It's time to acknowledge your hard work, your discipline, and your talent. It's time to give thanks for the education you've received, for the dedication of your teachers, for the friendships you've formed. And it's time to reflect on the opportunities and the special responsibilities which will come with having been trained as you have to be the cultural and artistic leaders of the 21st century. Living as we are in an era in which the explosion of information technology and the globalization of cultural expressions is unprecedented, there will also be an unprecedented demand on the insights, skills, and imagination of artists and creative thinkers. You will be needed as never before. Prior to coming to UCLA, he established a career as a concert pianist and as conductor. He has served as conductor and music director of the Redland Symphony Orchestra since 1982 and has led orchestras throughout the world. He is in demand as lecturer and adjudicator, serving on the panel of the California Arts Council and the National Endowment for the Arts. At UCLA, he has established himself as an exemplary educator and has led the music department of the University's Spell Harmonia Orchestra for the past nine years. Two model outreach programs have been under, instituted under his leadership. He established the music While vast numbers of other individuals are not selected, how often have we heard the statement, I would give anything if I could possess such a talent? While there are no answers to the random selection, I'm proud to announce that we have a number of Doctor of Musical Arts candidates and Doctor of Philosophy candidates joining us on the stage this afternoon. Kevin Marshall Holland. Oh. Nancy April Kim. Oh. Irena Milev. Kingi Kyung, Tanya Peng, Sarah Marie Bender, Log Tran, Natalie Louise Davis, Ryan James Banta. Nicole Silai Duong. Yeah. Nina Villanciero. Yeah. Mayura Reddy Kona. Please be seated. Graduates, my hearty congratulations and best wishes for your future endeavors. Today, we have celebrated your rite of passage to the professional world. I'd like to take a moment now to thank your family and friends who've worked so hard and sacrificed so much to make today possible. I'd like first to ask the graduates' parents brothers and sisters to please stand. Parents, brothers and sisters. Congratulations to you. Can we also have the graduate spouses and partners please stand.
Next, I'd like the children and the graduates to stand. Let's have a warm hand for the children. Now will the grandparents of the graduates please stand. And will the friends of the graduates please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing and join our graduates in the singing of our alma mater, which will be led by Kelly Lenore Krantz. The words are printed on the seventh page of the program. After the alma mater, please remain in your seats during the recessional, and at its conclusion, please join us at the reception at the east end of the quad across the way in Schoenberg Quad. Good evening and good luck.